Hi, it's Kerry. Today's video is about wild animals with big teeth. I've chosen models that have articulated jaws or are showing their teeth. It was difficult to choose the scariest looking teeth. Sit back, relax and enjoy the music. Today's question is, which animal has the longest teeth? I'm counting tusks as teeth as well, so that's a bit of a clue. Tasmanian devils can only be found in the wild in Tasmania, in Australia. Devils are mostly black, but usually have white markings on the rump or the chest. Adult devils have heads that look almost too big for their bodies. The teeth and jaws of the Tasmanian devil resemble those of hyenas. Please help me get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Give a thumbs up if you like big teeth. There's a fun ending today. This reminds me of Diego from the Ice Age movies. The saber-toothed tiger. It's not really a tiger. It has teeth that are 12 inches or 30 centimeters long. The Smilodon or saber-toothed tiger became extinct about 10,000 BC. spotted hyena. They are scavengers and are also skilled hunters that can take down a wildebeest or an antelope. They have very good hearing and sharp eyesight at night. They are fast and can run for long distances without tiring. Packs work together very effectively to isolate a herd animal and kill it. The grizzly bear is a subspecies of the brown bear. The large muscular hump on their shoulders gives the grizzly the power to dig in the ground and tear apart dead logs to find food with its long claws. Grizzlies can reach speeds up to 35 miles per hour and are excellent swimmers. To communicate they use growls, roars and snorts. This is meant to be a bobcat, but it has the wrong sort of tail for a bobcat. This came in my Bigfoot set. I rather like its cheeky face and its very beautiful green eyes. Have a look at those ears, there wouldn't be much it doesn't hear. The Nile Crocodile eats mainly fish, but it will attack almost anything it comes across, including zebras, small hippos, porcupines, people. It will also scavenge dead animals or carrion. I'd keep right out of its way.
tiger. In fact, my favorite tiger. I love this tiger. Tigers are the biggest species of the big cat family. They are solo hunters at night time. They quietly stalk their prey until they are close enough to pounce. Then they kill their victim with a single bite to the neck or back of the head. They enjoy the water and are very good swimmers. This is a white tiger. Its pale coloration is due to the lack of the red and yellow pigments that normally produce the orange color. They're usually smaller in size to other tigers. White tigers live in dense jungle, mangroves and swamps, although there are many more held in captivity. This has ensured that the breed lives on. The great white shark. What a fantastic jaw. Inside the jaws are up to 300 serrated triangular teeth. The first two rows of teeth are used for grabbing and cutting prey. The teeth in the last rows can rotate forward when the front teeth are broken or lost. That is quite a scary jaw. The serrated teeth act as a saw and literally tear the victim apart. Dimetrodon is an extinct genus of synapsid that lived in the early Permian period around 295 to 272 million years ago. Dimetrodon is often mistaken for a dinosaur but it went extinct some 40 million years before the first appearance of dinosaurs. Dimetrodon was probably one of the top predators in early Permian ecosystems feeding on fish and tetrapods including reptiles as well as amphibians. The saber-toothed cat is any member of various extinct groups of predatory mammals that were characterized by long curved saber-shaped canine teeth. The saber-toothed cats were found worldwide from the Eocene epoch to the end of the Pleistocene. One of the best known is Smilodon. They're also referred to as the saber-toothed tiger. Caprosuchus. The name comes from the three sets of teeth that look like the tusks of a wild boar. It definitely has the look of a crocodile. Its teeth stick out above and below its jaw but fit together when the jaw is closed due to notches in the jawbone to allow the teeth to pass through. There are small bony horns on top of the skull. It grew to about 3.3 meters or 11 feet long. The tip of the snout is quite bulky and may have been used to charge at prey, knocking it over before clamping its jaws and sinking its teeth into prey. Giganotosaurus the teeth of Giganotosaurus are flat and serrated to enable it to easily slice through the flesh of its prey. These kinds of teeth are commonly seen in the Carcharodontosaurids. They would tear the flesh from the bones and leave the bones behind. It would use its teeth to slash the flesh of prey, aiming for the legs and underbelly. Prey would weaken through blood loss or infection. It targeted the leg muscles to try and sever a tendon, cutting the muscle free from the bone. This would cripple a large titanosaur so that it had absolutely no chance of escape.
Megalodon is a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. It is the largest prehistoric shark to have ever existed and one of the most powerful predators on earth. Its teeth grew up to 7 inches or 16 centimeters long and it would have fed on large prehistoric whales. As teeth are lost, broken or worn down, they are replaced by new teeth. Megalodon may have had hundreds of teeth at one time. They did not chew their food like we do, but swallowed it down whole in very large chunks. T-Rex. The serrated conical teeth were most likely used to pierce and grip flesh, which is then ripped away using its brawny neck muscles. Tyrannosaurus had a wraparound overbite when it closed its mouth. The upper parts of the lower jaw's teeth fit inside the upper teeth. The largest tooth ever found was 12 inches or 30 centimeters long. Teeth would grow back as they were lost. T-Rex had an infectious bite that was caused by rotting meat caught in the serrations of its teeth. T-Rex ate large dinosaurs like Triceratops. The arms were only about three feet or one meter long. Dunkleosteus was a heavily armoured fish. It would grow to 11 and a half feet and had large scissor-like cutting jaws with serrated razor sharp bones but no actual teeth. Its skull was over two feet and it had a jointed neck, an eel-like tail, no scales but a type of armour made of hinged body shields. So here we're looking at razor sharp bones instead of teeth but they do look very scary. Mosasaurus was a large snake-like marine reptile. They could grow up to 60 feet or 16 meters long. Their long head had pointed, powerful 4.7 foot jaws and many sharp teeth with two extra rows of teeth. It had a loosely hinged lower jaw that allowed it to swallow prey whole. Its sharp backward pointing teeth on the roof of its mouth helped force prey down its throat. Piranha fish lives in the rivers of the South American jungles. It has a single row of razor sharp teeth that are triangular in shape and are used to puncture and rip into prey. Piranhas live together in large shoals. Feeding frenzies will be triggered when there is blood in the water. When this occurs the water seems to boil and churn. They are capable of stripping their prey of flesh in a matter of minutes. Spinosaurus was a carnivore with huge teeth and powerful jaws. It would lie submerged in the water and ambush its prey with its long sharp crocodilian jaws, dragging the prey under the water to drown. Spinosaurus mainly ate fish, including giant coelacanths, sawfish, lungfish and sharks. Its teeth were non-serrated and needle-like. Plesiosuchus lived during the late Jurassic period and was part of a diverse group of marine crocodilians in the family Metrorhynchids. It had long crocodilian jaws and ate large fish and other marine reptiles. It was nearly 7 metres long. It would have been at the top of the marine food chain. The African Elephant the tusks of an elephant are modified incisors in the upper jaw. They replace the milk teeth when the animal reaches 6 to 12 months of age. 
They grow continuously at about 17 centimeters or seven inches a year. The largest tusk ever recorded was 138 inches long, which is three and a half meters. That is huge. About a third of the tusk is up inside the head. You can't see it. Smilodon had a strong body with well-developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canines. Its jaw opened wide and it was able to kill with precision. I like the spotted fur, although no one knows what it was really like. Look at those teeth. lion's teeth are well adapted for killing their prey and eating it. The great canine teeth are spaced so that they can slip between the cervical vertebrae of their favourite sized prey animals. They often sever the spinal cord to kill an animal. The back teeth work like scissors for cutting pieces of meat. The jaw is not capable of moving side to side like ours. This helps keep the back teeth aligned to cut through the meat. They don't chew their food, but swallow it in chunks. The hippopotamus. Their teeth sharpen themselves as they grind together. The lower canines and lower incisors are enlarged, especially in the males, and grow continuously. The incisors can reach 40 centimeters or 1.3 feet, while the canines reach up to 50 centimeters or 1.6 feet. Sarcosuchus was a super croc about 40 foot long and weighing as much as 15 tons, at least twice as long and 10 times as heavy as the biggest crocodiles alive today. It lurked in the African rivers and ambushed prey in its strong jaws, grabbing it and drowning it under the water. Giganotosaurus. Its dagger-like teeth had serrated edges and could slice through flesh like a saw. Baryonyx was a carnivorous dinosaur. It was primarily a fish eater, as a fossilized meal shows fish scales in its stomach. It had a very narrow skull, and the upper jaw contained a sharp angle near the snout that helped to prevent prey from escaping, much like a crocodile. Notice the small triangular crest on the top of the snout. It had many small, sharp pointed teeth in powerful jaws, it could wade into the streams and use its long jaws to trap and catch slippery fish. The frightening Dinosuchus lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means terrible crocodile. It had a powerful jaw with robust teeth for crushing prey. Its strength was 35 feet or 10 and a half meters and it could weigh eight tons. It looked more like an alligator with a broad snout. Its skull was five feet or one and a half meters long. They could live on land or in the water. They preferred waiting quietly in the water and then ambushing their unsuspecting prey at the water's edge. Wolves have very strong jaws. They have 42 teeth altogether. A wolf's canine teeth can be as long as one inch. A wolf's teeth are extremely sharp, strong, and slightly curved. 
This enables them to grasp their prey in their teeth and chew it down to the soft marrow in the bones. It also helps the wolf to eat nearly all of its prey, leaving very little waste. The narwhal is the unicorn of the sea. This medium-sized whale is found in Arctic coastal waters and rivers. They have two teeth. In males, the more prominent tooth grows into a sword-like spiral tusk up to 8.8 .8 feet long or 2.7 meters. Females may grow a much smaller tusk. They have no dorsal fin. The alligator, a cold-blooded reptile. They have a powerful bite, but the muscles that open the jaw are relatively weak. An adult human could hold the jaws of an alligator shut with their bare hands. Alligators eat a range of different animals such as fish, birds, turtles and even deer. The wild boar is a close relative of the domestic pig and likes to live in forests. The tusks on the bottom lip are the most prominent feature of a wild boar. Males use their tusks for the fights during the mating season. The wild boar has a long rubbery snout that is used for digging underground roots and bulbs. Cronosaurus was a short-necked pliosaur growing up to 30 feet long. They lived in the ocean and surfaced to breathe air. Their strong teeth and jaws could crush shells and tear through squids and octopus. It swam with its flippers much like a turtle. This is a crocodile. You can see those sharp teeth in the elongated jaw, ready to grab their prey. Pliosaurus was a carnivorous marine reptile. Look at those jaws and teeth. Mosasaurus was their greatest enemy. They breathed air through their nostrils on the upper front of their head by surfacing. It had a soft hide. The walrus. They are bigger than most seals and both males and females have tusks. The tusks are actually long, sharp teeth that can grow to three feet or one meter long. Walruses use their tusks like an ice pick to help pull their bodies out of the water onto the ice. Sometimes they use them to catch prey or to poke air holes in the ice. Walruses live in the cold Arctic areas and have thick layers of blubber to keep them warm. Liopleuridon was a pliosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period. It was a powerful swimmer and propelled itself with four large paddle shaped limbs. It had a four foot skull and long jaws with rows of deadly needle sharp teeth which could reach two and three quarter inches long. These were arranged in a distinctive rosette at the end of its snout. Andrusarchus lived between 45 million and 36 million years ago. It is known to have been heavily built with an enormous skull, a long snout with large teeth, including sharp cutting teeth and flat cheek teeth that could have crushed bones. It had a long body, a long tail and short legs with hoofed toes. It was probably around 12 feet or 3.7 meters long from head to pelvis.
T-Rex and all his wonderful teeth. One of my favourite models. I love all the speckles on the knees. T-Rex had a massive bite force and its teeth could even crush bones. Look at those teeth. <laughs> mammoth. This looks like Manny from Ice Age. It stood about as tall as an Asian elephant with a narrower skull. Its ears were a lot smaller as well. Mammoths had four giant shoebox sized teeth, two upper and two lower. They grew six sets of teeth over a lifetime and typically died when their last set of teeth lost the ability to grind up vegetation. Woolly mammoths had very long tusks. They're modified incisor teeth, which were more curved than those of modern day elephants. The largest known male tusk is 4.2 meters long, which is 14 feet. A more typical size would be 2.7 meters, which is about 8.9 feet. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Remember to tell me which animal has the longest teeth and remember I'm counting tusks as teeth as well. To subscribe, press or click the Super Fun Reviews logo. To watch any videos or playlists, click or press on what you'd like to watch. Thanks again. Please help me get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by subscribing and sharing with your friends. Thank you.